And who have Amy, the science lady. She has her own show on PBS coming out pretty soon. <laughs> Alright, today we're going to be concentrating on the sugar content of soft drinks, laboratory number 10. Alright, the very first thing we're going to do are prepare some standards. We have five standard solutions that we're going to make. 20% of 0, 5, 10, 15, and 20% sugar solution. So how we do this is we have a, uh, a beaker, and we're going to weigh out approximately 5 grams of sugar for the 5% sugar solution. And the exact mass of our five grams approximate of sugar will be 5.056 grams. All right. And to be clear about the sugar, this is just table sugar or sucrose. All right. Now that we have our 5.056 grams of sugar in the beaker, we will take the beaker and add to it. Uh, approximately 75 mils of DI water. Once we have that in there, we'll go ahead and just mix it up to dissolve the sugar. Once the sugar is dissolved, we'll pour that sugar solution into a graduated cylinder and then bring the volume up to 100 milliliters. Now that 100 milliliters, we'll pour it back into the beaker, and here we have a solution that is known to contain 5% sugar. We've also made the other standards. We have a 0% sugar standard, which is just water, 5% sugar, 10% sugar, 15% sugar, and 20% sugar. So the mass of all those sugars and the percent sugar are listed here. Now that we have these standard solutions, we're going to take them and weigh 10 milliliters of each solution to find their density. And this will help us establish a calibration curve. So here we have a beaker. We'll find its mass, which is 48.982 grams. To this beaker, we'll add 10 milliliters of a stock solution that we made. This one will be the 5% solution. And then we'll weigh it again. The mass of this 5% solution, 10 milliliters, will be 59.228 grams. And here we have documented the mass of the beaker and solution for all the percentages of sugar, as well as the mass of the empty beaker that we weighed the 10 mils of solution in. Using this data here, you should be able to find a mass of 10 milliliters of the sugar solution as well as the density of the sugar solution. As an example, we'll perform these calculations on a 5% sugar solution. So for 5% sugar solution, the mass of the sugar is 5.056 grams. 5% sugar solution. The mass of the empty beaker was 48.982 grams. The mass of the beaker plus 
10 milliliters of the 5% sugar solution is 59.228 grams. So if we take the mass of the beaker solution and subtract the mass of the empty beaker, we'll find that the mass of 10 milliliters is 9.246 grams. Therefore, the density, which is grams per milliliter, will be 0.9246 grams per milliliter. From here, you should be able to develop a calibration curve. Next, we're going to find the sugar content of three different soft drinks. One will be Cheerwan, one will be Hawaiian Punch, and one will be the unknown number three. The first thing we're going to write down is the nutritional facts on the back of the, uh, the label on the soda. So the mass of sugar in one serving of cheer wine is 59 grams in one serving size, which is 16.9 ounces. For Hawaiian Punch, the mass of sugar in one serving will be 18 grams. And the serving size of Hawaiian Punch is 10 ounces. Unknown number three, we don't know the mass of sugar in one serving. So that's what we're going to find out. Okay, so to determine the amount or the, the density, the chair one, we're going to take the empty beaker and weigh it. And the mass of the empty beaker is 49.000 grams. Okay. Then we'll add 10 milliliters of cheer wine. And now that 10 mils are in the beaker, we'll find its mass again. And the difference will be the mass of the cheer wine. So the mass of the beaker plus solution is 59.321 grams. And this is for cheer wine. So the difference between the mass of beaker and solution and the mass of the empty beaker will give you the mass of 10 mils of solution. And from there you can calculate density using the calibration curve that you established and find out the how accurate your solutions are. You can see how many grams of uh, chair wine you actually calculate. Um, don't forget that density is equal to mass over volume. Um, next we'll find the uh, Hawaiian punch parameters. Um, so first we pre-weigh the beaker. The mass of the empty beaker is 49.018 grams. And into the beaker we will place 10 milliliters of Hawaiian punch. Oops, there it is. <laughs> And what flavor of Hawaiian punch is this? Fruit juicy red. Ooh, fruit juicy red. Mmm. <laughs> All right, and with the 10 milliliters in the beaker, we'll find its mass. And that is 59.233 grams. Hawaiian punch. The final soft drink is the unknown solution. So we'll find the mass of 10 mils by first pre in the beaker again. The mass is 49.051 grams. And then we will add 10 milliliters of our unknown, unknown number three.
Now 10 milliliters of unknown in the beaker will find its mass again. That is 58.949 grams. So with all this data in hand, you'll be able to calculate the mass of 10 milliliters of the solution, and from there the density of the solution, and using density in your calibration curve, you'll be able to calculate the mass of sugar in unknown number three.